you know, the one thing that people have got to understand about this situation with Alex Jones um, is whatever your views are of Alex Jones is if you make him up as a bit of a nutcase, he shouts, he screams virtually, but he's still um, he's you know misjudged one or two things. Still, the fact is that what this is playing out, it's already started in the UK with the way in which Tommy Robinson was, you know, thrown into jail when, you know, for contempt of court. Yet, very rarely do people get thrown into court, you know. Um, I just seen the, the the bike lock guy in uh, in America who was smashing people's skulls with a bike lock has got probation for three years, so he's not going to do any jail time. The people that he's literally cracked open their heads so, um, are not going to get any justice. They've got, received no justice. So this man has literally done grievous bodily harm on people. The police have stated that they class it as a felony, uh, what they call an American felony. Um, and so they, they were expecting this guy to, to at least do some jail time or heavily fined. You know. Instead, he got probation for three years. And this guy is apparently a professor. So, so therefore, we've seen no justice. The situation is dire because 1984 is being played out here. If the left gets what they are, they want, they will want to control everything and everybody. And people don't see this. That's one of the reasons why I've actually moved over to conservatism. Because conservatism is, as far as I'm concerned, true freedom. The left, Labour, the left, are very, very dangerous. Because if they had their way, Jeremy Corbyn, we put Britain into a socialist um, Britain, but a, 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 a communist Britain. It won't really ever really succeed. But if it did, God help Britain. God help Britain. I'm telling you, it's very, very disturbing to see the way in which Alex Jones channel Everywhere, Facebook, uh, Apple, uh, Google, YouTube have just completely wiped um, you know him off of, of social media. Now, look, if everybody says these are private companies and they can do whatever they want, but there's going to come a point where if you're not careful. I mean, there's already a Democrat who's saying that they, they want virtually total everybody who's of a conservative, who's conservative thinker to be shut down. I think CNN looks like they're trying to go after Fox News. They've already, they've already dealt with, um, O'Reilly. They, they were able to get O'Reilly off Fox News. Um, and now, They've, they've, they've gone after Alex Jones. Apple apparently uh, are looking at, I think it's, let's have a look, I think I've just seen it. Here we go. Apple says it is monitoring the InfoWars app, threatens to censor, censor it if it becomes harmful. What are you talking about? I mean, the app shot to number one on the charts after big tech company censorship. So Apple will 
shut this down, we'll, we'll shut it down. I mean, the way that they're behaving is if this guy is a Nazi. I mean, Alex Jones is, is far from a Nazi. He's, a, you know, he's a conspiracist. Um, as I said before, he, the Sandy Hook, I think he's, he misjudged that. The Pizza Gate, he misjudged that. But hey, you know, people make mistakes. Um, if, you know, as you can see from there, let's try and see that again. Um, oh, stand up, awaken the nation. This is not what I wanted to see. Oh, info European. Uh, uh, often uh, advice about the future of Belgium. You know, it's, it's, things are getting really, really dire. And this is, you know, the thing is, I have to be honest with you, you know, <laughs> Obama came in, I was really happy that there's now a black president that got into America. But you know what? The eight years of Obama has allowed in the SJWs, has allowed the, um, the, the massive platforming that has, con you know, continued, that, that has happened in the universities. This was during the Obama administration with the witch of his wife, that evil Michelle Obama, literally um, pulling the strings. That, that woman is just vile. And I was really happy when uh, Joan Rivers went after the, her and, and was calling her a transvestite. I couldn't give a shit about it. I cannot stand that woman. Um, she was an idiot. She behaved like an idiot. She didn't behave like a, a dignified first lady. Look at the way Trump's wife is behaving. You don't see her trying to make out she's a 25 year old dancing uh, uh, like an idiot. Um, she's behaving with elegance. Yes, okay, she's done a few risque, um, you know, um, soft horn pictures in the past, I think. But who cares? She still has more dignity and style than um, that Obama's wife had. And I'm so glad she's gone. We've had the first black president. Now, hopefully in the future, if we do have someone in colour, Oh, sorry, of colour that does come in again. Let's have someone who is sensible and can run the country, um, you know, uh, properly. Um, because, see, you know, eight years of Obama with this toilet nonsense, with the transsexual toilets, was was Obama's issue. Was Obama's, um, you know, if George Bush had been in, gay marriage would never have been allowed to come through. You know, but it came through under Obama. So, you know, so he's responsible for a lot of this nonsense that's going on. Um, Antifa has been allowed to um, run a mock and organize, attack the police because it knows it can get away with violence. The bike lock idiot who was whacking people over the head with a metal bite lock has got away with facing jail time. And so it means, that sends a message out to all these SJWs and people on the left that they can virtually do whatever they want. Okay. And it's not going to be long before they're going to try and now shut down InfoWars website. You see, they've got him off YouTube, they've got him off Facebook, and they've got him off Spotify. Apple are looking to um, shut his app, his app down. So, if they can try and go after the InfoWars website and shut that down, that is going to be a real, real problem because that site is a private site. It's his site. And he should be able to broadcast 
whatever he wants on that side, they do whatever he, you know, he wants. But still, the left will go after this leader. Something has to happen about YouTube, about Facebook. Okay, that these huge companies can suddenly throw someone off a platform. For what reason? Alex Jones is, is not a Nazi. He said a few things that have upset people. If you don't like it, don't watch it. But the thing is, if we react in the way of saying, we need to see um, Twitter, um, Facebook, um, YouTube properly regulated like the rest of the newspaper industry, um, it could be a problem um, for the future. Because this is what the Democrats are looking for. They want to have full control of Facebook, full control of, of, of Twitter. Okay. I don't know how we, people can find a way of maybe if we can get um, Mind, I think it's called Mind and Gab. Um, uh, maybe hopefully people will start moving to these uh, other media platforms uh, because you know Facebook is just got, getting too powerful. Um, YouTube is getting too powerful. Google is getting too powerful. We need alternative medias to these big players. As I said, Gab and um, Minds could be, but they they need bigger backing. Let's see, Minds. I think it's Minds. Or... Let's see. There we go. Uh, Minds is an open source uh, distributed social net, uh, social networking service integration integrating the blockchain to reward the community with tokens. Blah blah blah. Um, at the moment, it's just got over a million plus users. I mean, we need to see more people um, register. And the problem is, it's on Facebook. It needs it's uh, oh my, this child soon. So let me see if I can. Yeah. So. We, we need to see so my social network I don't have very much longer to here we go let's see mines oh, <coughs> takes a bit of time to get there but if we can spread this network out, uh, the crypto social network. Okay, it is a little bit different from Facebook than than um, you, you know Facebook. Um, but no one seems to be pushing this this network. Let's have a look. There we go. There's InfoWars. It's got blue. It's verified. So, you know, it's there. There's Alex Jones, one of Alex Jones' employees. Um, it, you know, it's just nowhere near as big as YouTube. But, if people could support this channel, it would be great. It really would. Um, anyway, 
I'm signing out. Thanks for listening.